Colonel, it's gonna be a beautiful day. A beautiful day for some trail recon. But it's cold. We got 40 degrees this morning. So I'm gonna hang out by the fire and enjoy my coffee. Oh, that's good. So after we leave here, we're gonna drive to Burnt Mill Bridge to see what the signal is like. And you'll know exactly where I'm coming out. Yep. And I want to see the bridge that got washed away. Oh, they didn't sure. rebuild it? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't think so. I don't think they have had time. Keep heading north. All the way to Moorhead. We're here at Burnt Mill Bridge. Right where it all ended for me on my first attempt in 2019. Right there is where I came out. The deline or the little plastic delineator sign is going, Colonel. It was yeah, right I was there, looking I for that. I was like, where in the world did you come out? Huh. But uh, we're going to go check out this bridge that got washed away. There's still half of it there. I cannot believe how high the Clear Fork River was to wash that away. Unbelievable. Let's go take a little walk down here, just a couple hundred yards, so Colonel can see where I'm going to be finishing, so he'll know where to set up the cameras and the lights in case I come out early morning or late night. Okay, what are you feeling right now? You're, you're seeing where you ended the first time, where you're going to end again in seven days, or eight days from today. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. It's a very surreal feeling right now, knowing this is where I ran out to hug my wife at the finish line, and I was in absolute misery and pain, starving and dying of thirst. I felt like I was in my, my last hours of life. Are you going to hug me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm either going to be crawling across the finish line, falling in the colonel's arms. If I do, I'll film it. I remember running over this, coming out to the finish line. Maybe I ran beside it, and I know I was out of focus, but I didn't care. And I saw my wife walking up to me right there, ready to give me a big old hug, and completing the 333 miles at the time, and getting the new self-supported FKT. Hopefully I will be successful in setting the first ever unsupported FKT coming out right here. I think I'm actually going to run on down to get on the old Burt Mill Bridge. Let's go check it out. So this is where the historic flooding happened this past spring. And you can see, and you know, it says area closed right now. But we don't care. I'm, I'm running up to this bridge, <laughs> and this is where I'm finishing. If I make it out, this is where I will finish. This is the original Burnt Mill Bridge that went all the way across but was washed away. It is hard to believe that the water was 25 feet high. And this was how long ago? This spring. Oh, this spring. The beautiful Clear Fork River. Wow. Well, hopefully I will be back in this location eight days from now, victorious, with an unsupported FKT under my belt. All right, we're hopping back in the truck, heading north up the Sheltoe Trace to check out four locations where there's either a reroute or a spot where I messed up in the dark on my last attempt. I want to see them in the daylight and make sure I know exactly where I'm going during my attempt. Here we are, the Honey Creek Loop Overlook. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. I'm glad we took the extra 15 minutes, Colonel, to come up here and see this. Man, A little foggy out this way yet. Beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful overlook. It's actually where I came with Josh Ebersall back in 2017, I think. We did the Honey Creek Loop and camped out for two nights down here. We were supposed to meet up with Tim Watson, but he wasn't able to come down. Man. Very nice. Flat Rock Missionary Baptist Church. This is where Colonel and David surprised me on the trail. I think it was day five back in 2019. Good memories here. Just completed our quick visit to Cumberland Falls. Colonel's never seen it. And it was right on the way to our next stop at Holly Bay Marina. So we thought we'd swing in here and take a look at it. Very, very crowded today. Probably hundreds of cars. Well, a hundred at least. It is, it is full here. <laughs> well, we are here at Holly Bay Campground and it is decked out for Halloween. Can you believe this? Oh my gosh, look at this. It's the whole cemetery over here. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a massive, massive shindig tonight. Wow. 
we made it to the northern terminus. I didn't film anything else today because things didn't go according to plan. We made two of my five stops of reroutes and places I wanted to see. It just took so long to drive from rugby to here. I mean, I feel like that's all we got done today, Colonel, is drive. I feel like it too. Oh, I'm glad I'm here. Now we just got to figure out where we're going to set up camp for the night. So this is new. This was not here last time. It's a place for you to put your camera so you can take a selfie in front of the sign. Put my camera right there. And I can stand in front of the sign. Woohoo! Holy cow, it works. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have camp set up here at the Northern Terminus. That's where the Colonel's sleeping tonight to see me off in the morning at 4 a.m. And there's my duplex. I thought about putting a hammock up right here between these trees because there's actually a pretty good spot right there that would work perfect. But I think I can dry that off and take it down quicker than the hammock. I realize it, you're not supposed to camp here, but we're kind of out of options at this point. It's almost dark and I'm leaving at 4 a.m. The nearest campground is like 20 minutes away. I just don't want to deal with that in the morning. I'm going to take my chances to get a good night's sleep and hit this trail hard first thing in the morning. So anyway, you're uh, you're getting ready to start your second Sheltoe Trace through hike. How do you feel about this? I'm a little nervous, to be honest with you. I, I don't I mean, doubt that. Who wouldn't be getting ready to hike 340 miles? 50 mile days and a third of it in the dark every day. And what it looks like a couple days of rain. Yeah, I'm gonna be walking through rain all day Monday it looks like, but uh, other than that, I might stay pretty dry. We'll keep our fingers crossed. I think the uh, the thing I'm worried about the most right now is just dealing with that pack weight because it's it's gonna be between 35 and 40 pounds. It's, it is heavy, probably closer to 40 for day one. It's gonna drop about three pounds every day between you know, food, vitamins, painkillers, toilet paper, you know, all that stuff adds <laughs> up. So it's going to be about three pounds a day getting lighter. So I'm optimistic about that. But, uh, you know, I didn't, I, even though I did train about a thousand miles for this FKT since June, not enough of it was with a heavy pack, with a 25 pound plus pack. Half of that was, you know, just a lightweight day pack. Mm. But I think my body's ready. It's as ready as it's ever going to be. I'm going to give it my all. This is the last one. We're rooting for you. I'm going to retire after this one. There might be some challenge hikes in the future, but no long distance FKTs. I made a promise to my wife, it's done. I know a lot of you probably don't believe that. I know you don't believe it. But I don't. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, she has to be in full support of another one in the future. But right now, this is the big, the big one and the last one. Okay, well, man, wish you the best. And uh, we'll all be rooting for you. Thanks, buddy. All right, well, it's 3 a.m. Sunday morning. It's time to do this. It has been raining all night long. Not real heavy, but a good rain. Not the conditions I wanted. <sighs> but it is what it is. You know, this is the time frame I have allotted to do this. So it has to happen today. So I'm probably going to get pretty wet today and tomorrow. Uh, that makes me a little leery or nervous about my feet. It's not the conditions I wanted. All right, um, I'll get this tent packed up, eat some breakfast, and get on the trail. Definitely feeling a little overwhelmed and nervous right now, but hopefully all the training I put in pays off and I'm ready to go. I'm enjoying a quick breakfast before I hit the trail. The Colonel made me some coffee in the Colonel Cup. And this is a breakfast I picked up at uh, the diner where we stayed yesterday, a four egg omelet with the works in it and some hash browns. As soon as I finish scarfing this breakfast down, we're getting on the trail. My brand new pair of dirty girl gaiters, never worn, just for this trip. Colonel inspired. Colonel, how'd you sleep last night, buddy? Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well, what he's not telling you folks is that he was snoring within 10 minutes of us going to bed at 8.30. Yeah. And I had to put the earplugs on. So last night, it was about 8.30. Colonel and I were just about ready to go to bed. And two forest service workers, park rangers, came into the trailhead and asked us about us camping here. So someone obviously saw us camping, set up camp here, and uh, reported us. Because I came rolling in here at the same time. 
and uh, we told them what we were doing, and they had a little discussion with each other. I know I keep going in and out of focus because of the darkness. Um, and then they decided to say, let us stay here. So we were very blessed to be able to camp here at the trailhead. Probably not recommended, but I think that you would be allowed if you talk with them beforehand, let them know that if, you, you know, if you're starting early in the morning like I am, they would probably give you permission to go ahead and stay here, even though it's not a designated campsite. All right, there we go, 4.01 a.m. on Sunday morning. All right, my friend, good luck to you. Does this say start tracking? Start tracking. There it goes. All right. Okay, that's going. I'm starting to start Gaia here. <laughs> Got about six minutes of power <laughs> up here. <laughs> Record. All righty, here we go. I think it's about 4.02 now on Sunday morning. October 24th, 2021. Heading out on the Chateau Trace for 340 miles. Unsupported tipped. Let's go. All right. Killing time now, Colonel. Killing time. Valuable time. Godspeed, right. Jason. Good luck. See you on the other end, Colonel. All right. Be Woo! safe. Have fun. And there goes a confident Jason Wish. I can't even follow him down the trail a few hundred feet because that would disqualify him. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going to go clean up a little bit of a mess here, and uh, we're going to head north. Well, here I am. Jason's truck has made it back to the Colonel Lair. So, he is uh, alone in Kentucky, southbound on the Sheltoe Trace. I just wanted to shoot this real quick, let everybody know I made it back, and I am not <laughs> offering him any support in any way. Currently, we are 7.51 a.m. on October 24th. And we'll be talking to you guys later. Um, this is Sunday. I'm going to take a few days off and get some work done while Jason spends the next few days getting his work done walking south. Uh, I'll check in with you guys Thursday morning and we'll see where he's at and uh, we'll see about leaving here to go back down. I can film him if he doesn't know I'm there. So I'm going to have to secretly film him and that will keep it all legal and on the up and up. So I've got a few plans. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned.